This is video 13 out of 20 in our beginner series and introduction to AI. So first things first, what exactly is OpenCV? Well, as you can see here on this website, OpenCV stands for Open Source Computer Vision Library. And it's a huge open source library for computer vision, machine learning, and image processing. So OpenCV actually supports a variety of languages, but today we're gonna focus on Python because of its simplicity and its readability. So I'll show you this website really quickly. And the idea is that there are many resources online, including documentation and even a history of different types of documentation with the different versions of OpenCV that are available. There's also a really great sort of get started uh, installation pathway for you to learn how to actually navigate through this tool. The fact is, whether it's facial recognition in your phone or autonomous cars, OpenCV is the backbone of these technologies. So let's explore why OpenCV is like a game changer in computer vision. Now, like a Swiss army knife for computer vision engineers, OpenCV is fast, efficient, and versatile. In fact, it's packed with over 2,500 algorithms. These algorithms can detect faces and recognize them, identify objects, even possibly classify human actions and track moving objects. So another reason that you might like to use OpenCV is that it's actually cross platform, which means that you can use it on Windows, on Linux, and on Mac. Plus, as I've already shown you, it's actually open source. So let's sort of just dive right into it and I'll get you right into the setup. So first, what you wanna make sure to do is that you actually have Python installed. So let's walk through that setup. You want to, in your command line here, and I'm gonna open up a new screen, simply check to see if you have that. So we're going to do pip, ins pip install opencv-python. And so for me, it looks like it's actually updating it, um, but it says that, you know, I had the requirement already satisfied for one of the dependency packages here, NumPy greater than 1.17 version. Anyway, I already had it, but for you, it might take a little bit of a while, but once you have it, you will now be ready to conquer your world with computer vision. So let's move on to the fun part, which is reading and displaying, as well as saving images. So first, first things first, let's actually just jump right into a sample here. First, you'd want to type in the simple code block to make sure that we've imported it into our local environment. We can use the shortcut import cv2. Also, just for plotting purposes, let's definitely say, let's use pyplot because I've just noticed that that makes it a little bit easier when we're working in this beautiful Jupyter environment. All right, and it's actually saying that I don't have a package named matplotlib. So when that happens, we can simply do pip install matplotlib. And it looks like there were indeed some issues. Um, I might have updated my version, and let's try that again. All right, everything's working, guys. We are all good. So now let's hop into loading in our new image. So the way that you typically do this and it's pretty straightforward, but let's start a new column and let's type in image. So we're, what we're doing here is we're actually taking the CB2 library. We're invoking a method called image read. And then in the path, I actually already saved an image called sample.jpg. Um, and like any good function, you close it and then we bind it to image. So I've saved this, did it run? Let's check. Yes, we're all good. So then let's try to plot it and see what is that image. So what you now do, remember we installed matplotlib. So then you go plot, invoke the image, image show, and then we pass as the variable image, which we just did in the line above. And it looks like we've got this beautiful cat. Now, here's our next question. How do you actually save that image? Well, that's great. The way that we actually save this image is... Again, invoke the computer vision uh, library, CV2. This time, instead of imread for image read, we're going to use imwrite to write that image. And I'll call this, let's call it sample 10. Um, and then we'll save it again as a JPEG. This binds the name of the variable. This is actually the path to the image that you want to save. And then we have to pass that same variable again. So, oh. 
it said true, which indicates that something worked. So now let's check out if it actually stuck. So I have to go into my projects folder um, where this directory that we're accessing is hosted. And if I open that, we can see, and I've got a bunch of other files here too, but you'll see sample 10 actually was saved. And if you want to look at my timestamps, it's at 8.32. And yeah, just about one minute ago, we saved this beautiful sample 10 image. So we successfully sort of read, loaded, and saved. All right, now let's mix it up with a challenge. Can you guys load, display, and save this image in under 60 seconds? Let's try it out. So ready, set, go. Okay, time's up. How did you do? Let us know in the comments and let me know if you have questions. That's a wrap on our quick intro to OpenCV. Now you're well on your way to becoming a computer vision guru. So you also have to remember that practice makes perfect. And now that you know where to find the documentation, you can actually experiment with different images and functions. Keep learning, keep coding, and most importantly, have fun with it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell for more awesome content. See you in the next one.